So we are going to answer or determine the subsets or show the subsets in this Venn diagram. Number one, set of letters in the word car. Set of letters in the word car is definitely a subset of set C containing letters in the word create, C-R-E-A-T. Because in that set, set C, which contains again the elements C-R-E-A-T, has the elements, has letter C-A-R for the set of the letters in the word car. Because we describe subsets as a set containing the elements of a bigger or another set. So in Venn diagram, since this is already, this one, this is already, okay, this is already the Venn diagram for set C. Let us uh, determine here the subset for car. One idea that you need to, or as a hint for you, when you say subset, you could see the Venn diagram inside the Venn diagram, okay? You could see um, probably concentric circles, a circle within a circle, or an oval within an oval, or a shape within a shape. That determines a subset because it contains the elements of the bigger set. So the elements in the let now, uh, set of letters in the word car are C, A, and R. Simply write a shape, if you cannot write an oval shape, regular shape containing the elements C, A, and R, car. This is the representation of the subset, set of letters in the word car, of set C, which is the bigger set, set of letters in the word create. Number two, set of the letters in the word art, A, R, and T. So simply write a symbol combining them. Why do we need to enclose this? just like the given set. The Venn diagram should be enclosed because uh, it determines a group. When there are two different Venn diagrams, two Venn diagrams which are not connected, in short, they are two different sets, okay? Uh, if there are Venn diagrams which are connected, meaning they are sets which has common elements, okay? It's already in your module, so just read it. Number three, set of letters in the word tier. T E A R. So you have T E A and R. Well, let's enclose it better. And finally, set of letters in the word attract. Right? It may have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. And upon examining the given, you have only five letters. You don't need to worry again because we are going to always embrace the concept that there should be no duplication in the elements of the set. So when you say the word, uh, let us the word attract, you have letter A. Okay, let's write it in roster form so that uh, you could actually be uh, guided. So you have here A, T, no need to write another T, R, no need to write another A, C, no need to write another T. These are the elements. So you need to enclose A, T, R, C here. So you have A, T, R. C. When you say subsets, you're going to notice this kind of Venn diagram. You have a set within a set, a shape within a shape, not necessarily oval all of the time, but a shape within the shape. This is how we represent sets and their subsets. In your module, we also have a way to represent sets and it's disjoint or join sets and the non elements and even the universal set again this video is just only concerned on the practice exercise a please read your modules and, and analyze them more carefully so that you could actually learn better use this video for review god bless